Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ade and if you're brand new then of course you're most definitely welcome and if you're returning back then thank you so much for coming back to watch another video here on my channel. Today guys I have a very 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 exciting fragrance to review for you today and I'm sure you've heard about it because she's literally been on the grapevine for the last couple of weeks on TikTok, on Insta, on YouTube. So without further ado, actually before I do that, if you haven't already then please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video from me. And I'm sure you're probably wondering what fragrance is this? It's none other than the new collaboration with Latafa and Quentin Beach. So before I start with obviously like my initial thoughts, because obviously it's not been out for that long, I've literally just been um, trying to understand the fragrance, trying to gather some of my thoughts, but I thought I'd at least give you guys an initial review because I know that a lot of people want to know what it generally smells like and if it's worth going out to go and buy, okay? So I'm going to show you the packaging because honestly, I really feel like Latafa has snapped and I think, you know, when you're going into like a new bougie market, you have to upgrade. You have to upgrade. And part of the upgrade is even better packaging. We already know Latafa gives on packaging, but I just feel like it's giving sophisticated, it's giving suave, it's giving, you know, bougie. You know, we've gone up another level. Okay. So with that being said, please, I'd like to introduce you Terriac by Latafa and Quentin Beach. So that is that, and then let's open her up. Look at her, she's stunning, stunning. So yeah, so as you can see, obviously as she's nested in that little nuke, that is literally what the perfume looks like. Absolutely stunning. And again, you've got that little snake cap, that the African in me is screaming. I'm not gonna lie to you. I know my mom would definitely kick my ass if she saw this fragrance sitting on my, <laughs> sitting <laughs> on my dressing table, but you know, we move. Um, okay, so before I talk about my thoughts, my feelings, let's talk about the notes, okay? So if you see me looking down, of course, I'm just trying to get that up for you. So I definitely got these off Brain Grand for Grantica. Um, so, so the main cause of this fragrance, we've got musky, sweet, vanilla, caramel, powdery, amber, honey, leather, they say animalic and a little bit soft spicy. You can see definitely, you know, loads of those different elements. And in regards to the notes, so for the base note, we have vanilla, musk, labdanum, leather and vetiver. And then for the middle notes, we have honey, white, flo white florals, rhubarb and rose and then for the top note we have caramel pink pepper bitter almond and apricot guys 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 so um just a little bit of a background on quentin beach obviously this fragrance was only released here um, in 2024 quentin beach is a very very famous perfumer and i'm sure you probably all heard of delina he he was definitely one of the noses behind that um as well as carolina herrera good girl and good girl blush um alongside any of you know some other fragrances um from that house as well and then we've then got guidance by amage which is another fragrance that's literally done its rounds on tiktok and insta and you YouTube and is super um, popular at the minute. So obviously, you know, Quentin Bush is already out there. People already love what he has created. And to be fair, a lot of the fragrances that he's created have definitely come up Trump, become masterpieces, become people's signature fragrances. So will this collaboration with Latafa be another banger for Quentin Beach and also for Latafa? Because we know that Latafa also um, 
also produces really great fragrances. So, <clears throat> so let's have a very quick look, okay? So, obviously we've already spoken about the, um, the presentation. Next, obviously we've then got the sprayer, so let's see how that looks. The sprayer is obviously very beautiful, disperses very, very easily. We don't have any issues. And then we're then gonna come to the fragrance itself. Okay, so what I'm, I'm gonna be very honest with you guys because obviously we're girls, we're guys, you know? When I first got the fragrance, I did think, have I just been bamboozled? <laughs> did I just give in to a bit of a hype? But after wearing it, and smelling it again because I feel like the first smell you may or may not love it some people smell it instantly and are thinking yep absolutely love it I'm you know I'm definitely gonna wear it when I first smelled it I was kind of like mm, some of the notes I, I'm just not I'm not sure like whether they're hitting exactly how I wanted them to but now I can definitely say now that like I kind of sprayed it several times I have a better understanding of this fragrance Okay, all in all, I like the fragrance. So let me tell you what it is that I get. So obviously, there's definitely, you know, quite a few notes in this fragrance, but I wanna say that this fragrance is sweet. You can smell the honey, you can smell the apricot, you can smell the leather, but the leather is not a heavy leather. It's more like a suede leather. Um, what else can we smell here? Yeah, I guess obviously the sweetness does come from the honey, it does come from the vanilla and also the caramel so it's definitely a sweet fragrance but it's definitely not over the top sweet and also it is fruity but not over the top fruity and then you've then got that lovely um, leather note that just goes through it I feel like the leather just calms down the overly sweet and the overly um, overly sweet and overly fruity take on this fragrance it kind of calms everything down and ties it together gives it a little bit more of a mature scent now in regards to um longevity i'm obviously still testing this but for me i've genuinely gotten about six hours so far okay um this is on my skin i haven't really tested it on my clothes and i say that because i always tend to like layer my fragrances i sometimes have a different fragrance on my skin to what i have on my clothes but for the most part if i had sprayed it anywhere near my clothing it's probably normally mixed with something else so I can't really give you like a full as in like how long it's gonna stay on your clothes but on my skin for sure I definitely got that four to six hours after that six hours I was able to obviously like top it up and carry on going but this fragrance is is actually really beautiful it definitely is a more sophisticated take than some of the fragrances from the let Alpha house you can definitely tell that there has been a sophisticated nose that's been added to the palette to just make it just that little bit extra because i mean sometimes you probably sometimes get some fragrances from the house that are maybe a little bit too sweet a little bit too juicy as in fruity a little bit juvenile or you kind of go to the extreme where you get something that's very very oody very very heavy sometimes you know the balance is not quite right and sometimes they do get it right don't get me wrong um Latafo is still a house that i absolutely love i absolutely adore their fragrances but i definitely think with this fragrance um teriyak they've definitely gotten it right that nice balance of the leather the nice balance of sweetness and also fruitiness so this definitely gives me a fragrance that you can wear all year round it gives um a state a statement as in this would be like your day-to-day -day fragrance um so this could be your state statement scent is that is that even a thing yeah like a, your statement perfume like something that you wear on a regular basis and people know you by it's just that fragrance that i don't think is going to be that offensive to the nose so i think most people are going to like this fragrance and um obviously after seeing this um perfume come out it did make me think will this collaboration make Latafa sort of move more towards um like niche or will they you know allow themselves to be that affordable brand will they do more collaborations with other top perfumers and is this fragrance enough for them to you know think about giving us an even more premium range and if they did do we want Latafa to become a premium brand or do we still just 
enjoy Latafa as it is. So, I mean, it did make me think about a lot of different things, but this is definitely a really great move for Latafa because um, I guess they're normally known for clones or, you know, um, having dupes of other fragrances and it's just nice to see that you know they've definitely sat down with a top expert with another nose um, in combination to their own team to create something so beautiful so unique and i'm absolutely here for it um of course i always say this to everyone fragrance is personal fragrance is different you might like it you might not like it but I would always say definitely try and get yourself a tester or go into like your lo local supplier of Latafa fragrances to at least have a, um, have a try before you buy it. Um, I think out here in Dubai, we're able to get it for about 120 dirhams. But I think that's after a discount because I think I got it after a discount. But without the discount, it's about 150 dirhams, which kind of translates to around 30 pounds. Um, so yeah so if you're in the uk and you're kind of paying over then it might be shipping <laughs> i'm just gonna say that um just so that i don't get anyone in trouble but um that's you know yeah out here i've been able to get that for 120 after after a discount has been placed on it so yeah i mean i think the next question is if you've tried teriyak by latafa tell me your thoughts um, below i'd love to know whether you love it whether you hate it is this something that you are looking forward to buying have you already bought it and you're waiting to receive it let me know in the comment box below and of course if you know of any other new latafa um, releases that um, you absolutely love and you enjoy wearing already then please do let me know again in the comment box below um, thank you so much for watching this video and of course i hope i'll see you in my next one goodbye